So now it's part two of this coil building a um, face jug where I'm actually building in the features as I build up the piece. So now we'll continue. As you see over here, we are where we left it. We have the, the actual um, lips of the piece um, pretty much defined. The only thing we need to add to that will be the, um, we'll need to add teeth at some point, but we'll do that a little later on. So that's going well. Um, and then we have, um, let's see. So, so now we'll start building again and we will um, attempt to build the, the nose, starting on the nose now from here up. So we'll see that starting to happen. I reach in for my coils. Again, it's coil building as, as before. The, the pot has had a few hours to stiffen up. And I am laying in the coil all the way around here. And first I can join the coil and then I can start thinking about how I want to shape it. And <coughs> here, I might, I'm gonna to go to deal with the outside here as well using fingers to join the clay into the pot itself. Clay got a little stiff, so I have to really work it in. Thought it might get a little drier, a little, little wetter, but it should be okay. Working that clay in. All the way in now. Of course, that's the first step. And now in the second step, um, we're going to use our rib and the rib will be sculpting the piece as well as doing all the other things. That's really the shaping. When you're doing a piece like this, the shaping component of the wiping with the rib becomes really important. And you'll see that as we get into the front where the face is being formed, come around. And before we finish up this kind of last bit here, I wanna go around and, and deal with the inside here. And just finish that up. Make sure I've got a good solid join here, uh, working the clay down into the previous section. Just go around a few times, really work that in. And then here, I'll work that up a little bit. And then I'm going to come to this last part here, which you can see is um, the, the mouse section. And I want to start thinking about you know, if you look at um, the, the mouth and leading to the nose, um, how that works, uh, this section here will start leading up, the nose will come right out from here. So I want to start thinking about that. And so I'm going to bring that in. See how I just kind of bend that to make it the start of the nose section there. And here. So, and it looks like my mouth is starting to collapse a little bit. Can you see that? So I'm gonna just lift that up because I do wanna have teeth in there. So I wanna make sure I leave that available for that. Kind of build that open up, open that mouth up a little bit more. And we'll get the teeth going. I don't wanna do the teeth until I get a little further away with this coil building. So now I'm gonna start building the nose here. So we start going here and we'll bring it around. Okay, so we have another, you can see now I'm really bringing out the nose section here, really working it. And now I wanna go around and make sure I join the outside of this coil.
and uh, again, start start with the inside and the rib work, and just bring the, the form out a little bit, let it stretch out. I want it to kind of expand a little bit as it goes up at this stage. So I'm just wiping and letting the clay come outward a little bit, and then I'll finish the outside as well here by beginning start over here and just start wiping this in. And remember to go two directions at least as you work to get that really even plane, being able to get the forms to operate as you wish. And then here, and at this stage, what we're deciding is how prominent the nose should be, right? The further this goes, the more prominent the nose is currently it's just um, about the length of the mouth. So I probably want it to go quite a bit more to really bring it out. So there we go. So we'll go around one more time. Let's see. Okay, so we will uh, do another coil here. And this section here is gonna be the nostril. So um, you just gotta think about your own anatomy or what you know about human anatomy as you work. And you know, what you don't know, you will discover. And there's lots of uh, texts that you can avail yourself of, all kinds of art anatomy texts that help um, if you wanna get into that, or you can just kind of work and see how it looks and respond to how it looks and make your changes accordingly. So that's a lot of how I work. And I'll show you that in the video about working with a face, putting on, actually putting on a face. So you can see here, I'm gonna go out just a little bit more if I can. I'm running out of coil. I'm doing a second kind of round of coil here. And I can really twist and pull and shape it as I wish. What I'd like to show you is getting this, starting to get the, the nose to come upward. Um, but you can see it really developing here, slowly but surely. And one of the things you learn as you work with clay like this is that you are, nothing is, is you know, this is, it's all clay. Nothing is literally uh, set in stone. So as I work on this nose, I can move it around, squeeze it, cut things out, put holes in it, add to things. I can change it any way I see fit as I work. So that's what is going to happen as we go along here. But I just want to always make sure that I'm getting all of those uh, coils worked together. little bit more on here. And that's about as far as I want it to go out. And then I'm going to start coming upward. Bring that in. And there's the coil going around here. So did I already join it all the way around? I did. So I'm going to just now finish this joining here. Pick up my rib again, and I start working on this, the shaping and smoothing aspect of this, keeping everything in line. And I'm paying attention because as I go up higher and higher, the clay, the, the clay is kind of soft, and this is a very groggy sculpture place, so it, I can go pretty far with it. But it is, it will start to want to collapse if I'm not careful. So I do want to um, uh, work with it. Um, I'll check with the mouth here 
um, to make sure that I'm not losing my, my uh, size of the mouth here. I want that to be open. And um, so the next thing I want to do is get this nose to start heading upward. So I will work on that next. You can kind of see how it is at this stage. And it shall, it'll change quite a bit as we go. But let's start bringing this up and you'll see what I mean here. So now I'm gonna go vertically up from the, this point. Just give the nose a kind of angle in here all the way around. So we can look at the profile here and uh, you can start to see what it's looking like. Just pushing it up a little bit more forward, changing it, kind of giving it a little bit of an uplift on the nose. So now I'll join the coils on the outside here. Go kind of the nostril. But so I'm thinking about this area here. It's really kind of nostril. And I can work that from the inside as we go a little bit further, a little higher. So I'll go with the inside first again, just making sure that it's really nicely joined in there and, and smooth. on the outside and see what that's starting to look like for me. And I do want to get just a little more height on this before I start kind of clarifying some of the aspects of the lower part of the nose, but I'll just kind of get this established, just get a little bit more height. And I want this section here is actually starting the starting of the cheek, so I can think about that and turn, turn this inward here a little bit. There we go, that's starting to look about right. And uh, You know, of course, we have tremendous freedom because we're really making more of an abstract than a, we're not trying to follow any precise portrait, some real realistic image. So that gives us a lot of um, freedom of uh, expression here. So I'm just going to. So you can start to see it forming here. It's quite a nose. That's really getting to be quite a profile on that fellow. So I'm gonna work on that more, but I wanna get, as I say, I wanna get some more height to it. Um, 
So, have a little bit more clay here. I may have to get some more, but this is a good start. Let's go down here. I'll start adding this coil here. And I can also feel that the, the walls, uh, the soft clay is only going to hold up so much more before it starts to get more difficult. The general rule I have is if I spend more time trying to keep the form on the piece than actually putting more clay on, then I will um, stop for a while and let it stiffen up and dry up a little bit. So that's kind of the general rule. If it's taking longer uh, to keep the form in place without sagging, then I've gone too far. So I want to stop before that point. So you can see me really getting some height here, getting some, making some progress here. I just lost my mouth. So that's, that's a sagging part is the mouth is sagging a bit. So I'll deal with that in a minute. There we go. As you can see, we're making some real progress here. We're getting pretty, pretty well developed. Start working, always start on the outside, but I want to get the inside done. So I don't have to work with that when I'm doing the finishing touches on the outside. So, get that lined up a little bit more. I'm gonna push out. You see, I'm kind of pushing out this section here, thinking of it more as a, a, a area of the, of the nostril, and so I can start working on that in just a minute. Finish this. Go all the way around the outside first. Clean that up. This looks a little bit What I'm doing is I'm taking my, my rib and I'm kind of digging it under and just working a little bit and that kind of pushing into it makes it makes it look more like a nostril there. And if I wish, I can at some point pierce a hole there. I would want to block it up in the inside because I don't, like I say, I like this to hold water. When I'm done, hold liquid, perhaps whiskey, I don't know, something. So there we go. It's looking interesting. There, you can see some of its development. So, I'm going to keep going now, just a little bit more. I have uh, two long coils left with this batch, so before I, I'll put this on, see where I get to, and that will be pretty much the development of the nose. And then we'll see if on our final approach we can 
um, finish of a piece. Get the eyes and the head, the finishing of the head up to the spout, see if we can go that far tonight. See if we can get that far. And the only real, there's two limiting factors. One is um, my stamina. Um, it's about 8.30 in the evening now, so see how much more of this I can do before um, I call it a night. But if I can stay with it and fo stay focused, I could finish it, I could go up with this piece, but the other thing that will be limiting me is the speed at which the clay will stiffen in this environment, so we'll see. Front, get a little more height on the nose. You can see that. And there's things you can do to uh, speed the drying of the clay. You can um, use heat guns, which I have done. You can also crumple newspaper, light it on fire, and drop it in the middle of the pot, which I have also done. These are all things you can do to speed the drying so that you can continue building um, the piece. Either case, what you want to do is make sure that you have um, that you have protected this edge and kept it damp with a paper, with a uh, some terry cloth towel to make sure the edge stays damp while you do. If you start to see the nose quite prominently uh, working there. And so I'm going to just finish the inside here. And then I'll work on the outside. And I want to take some time. You tend to focus on the front of the piece because that's where all the facial details are. But you want to make sure you're happy with the way the rest of the shape is emerging and developing. So you want to keep an eye on that as well. So I'm looking at the silhouette and I'm pushing it out a little bit in places where I want it to swell a little bit more. There'll be a point where I'll want to kind of develop a sense of cheekbones by pushing it out. So you can already start to see some of my um, my little uh, kind of tricks that I do. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. So um, there's something about the way that I approach uh, abstraction that I want to make asymmetrical changes. So this side of the face where I'm working right now is getting to be kind of a concave shape which will be kind of interesting just for that concavity. It doesn't really follow any particular um, anatomical correctness. Of, you see there's no nostril, it just goes right out to the point of the nose. Whereas um, this side 
has a more realistic feel to it. We've got, you see a nostril here. I'm actually going to start pushing this in a little bit, create a sense of the nostril broken through there. So I will um, add some clay on the inside to block that up. See, that's kind of pronounced there nicely. That clear line. So that's starting to develop really nicely there. You can see. Quite a, quite a protuberance there. So that'll be fun. It's kind of a statement in its own right there. So that's starting to develop. I'm seeing it getting quite a bit taller. So um, we'll see where we go with this. But for now, before I leave it, what I want to do for this part two is I want to um, protect this edge and keep it damp while I um, move on to some other activities. So what I'm going to do here is just take a damp piece of terry cloth towel and cover this edge. And that, that'll keep the edge nice and um, damp while I let the rest of it uh, be exposed to air and dry. And I think we'll try, let me kind of demonstrate that. I'm gonna go, it would just take me a second to get some newspaper and uh, something to light it with. And we'll just uh, do a little um, fast dry technique here, just to give ourselves a little speeding up. I'll show you that. So this falls under the category about whether you want to try this at home or not. Um, I would recommend that if you do it, you do it on a non-windy day and do it outside. But what you see me doing here, I'm just going to light this on fire. Take that for and just drop it. Now, if you do too much of this, you'll crack the piece. So there is a uh, there's a, a delicate balance here. You see it's, uh, it's uh, smoking. Hopefully, I don't set the alarms off here at the school. That would uh, be somewhat disheartening. Maybe just three or four pieces to start with. Oh, interesting, eh? uh, just lights up. What I should have done before I started this is close up that nose part that, uh, where I poked a hole in it because it's going to get dry. So I'll do that next. But um, anyway, that's a technique for drying the piece a little faster if you're trying to rush it. Whenever you do this, the best way to do it is to actually just let it dry naturally and pay attention to it and control it with plastic. This is kind of a, um, a technique for speeding things along. And whenever you speed play along, sometimes it will fight back and give you, um, it will crack and give you all kinds of problems. So it isn't necessarily uh, your best bet. 
but it is an interesting technique and it's really kind of exciting visually. So that's my uh, my part two of building this face jug from uh, scratch coil building and we will finish it up hopefully with the next one. Um, stay safe, make art. <laughs>